Good morning everyone, Yeshua Kret. I am not wearing any makeup this morning. I will be putting some on, but I have been writing a blog post this morning. Also, made myself the porridge of dreams. Um, in one of my, I think it was one of my, well, one of my vlogs from the first week, I made this porridge with um, I put flax, flax seeds in it, chia seeds, um, and this morning, I put flax seeds in it, because you know, health. But I've also put frozen blueberries in it because every time I buy fresh blueberries, within like two days, half the packet is fluffy. So I've just gone for frozen and they obviously defrost in the microwave when you put it in the microwave. And bananas and almond butter. Literally living the porridge dream on this Monday morning. <laughs> Um, but I thought I'd chat to you guys about my blog post that I've just put out. I've written a blog post about basically how Instagram's been getting me down recently and I've been really focused on like how many likes a photo gets and trying to recreate photos or the level of photos that I took when I was on safari and I'm not every day am I living my best life and living such a photographic life that I can take pictures of and I feel like Instagram's got to the point now where people don't just share their morning coffee that they had that morning because it has to be like really curated and um, really beautiful. And, and I love that about Instagram. Like I love scrolling through um, feeds and seeing how beautifully created they are. So yeah, I've written a blog post on it basically. We're on our way. I'm not in focus, now I am. Have you already started the vlog today? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We already had a conversation. Oh, we've already had a conversation on camera Sorry. today, as well as off camera. We Sorry. don't just talk when we're on the camera. I forgot. Even. I forgot. Um, we are on our way to where? A shop Rider. called. Yeah, you remember. Yay! Apparently, it's the only one that we can go to. So it's not. No, no, no. There's loads of motorbike shops. There's loads yeah. of motorbike shops. We're very lucky in Surrey. And obviously London, there's loads of cool motorbike shops. But Urban Rider is where I get most of my stuff online. And they're just really good. They've got like kind of the cooler stuff, the cooler brands that they stock. Yeah. Still technically very safe, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but they're just yeah, that's the style that I like. It's the style that he likes. And that you like if you had a look. <laughs> No, I have had a look, yeah. Um, but we are on our way now. It's really weird weather in England today. It's 25 degrees, hence why Steve and I are just in t-shirts. I don't think, I can't remember being in... 16th of 16th October. 16th of October and it being 25 degrees. I don't think that's ever happened. Global What's going warming, on? Guys. Global warming is real, guys. Ooh. So, we're driving very economically and contributing to global Get, warming. Sorry. Sorry guys, sorry. My true colours <laughs> oh, always so came nearly out. Oh, he's so nearly sworn yeah. I should just film every My time. My true colours always came out. I do have a road rage problem, right? That guy just needed to turn around the corner. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way. Now. Okay, we may have bought the whole shop, but we got Alexia fully kitted out. Yeah. Are you going to do a little motorbike fashion show later? Yeah. But the, mo the most awkward motorbike lady ever, but yeah, I'll do her. <laughs> but the most important thing, regardless of fashion, was safety. So we actually spent quite a bit of money, but it's all for Alexia's safety, and that is the main thing when riding a motorbike. Obviously, like, she's going to be pillion to me, so it's my responsibility to keep her safe and to have her in the best gear possible. But yeah, I'm trying to look good at the same time, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited though. That means tonight we can go for a little sunset cruise. Exactly. Yeah. We just stopped off because our hunger has got to us. So we're gonna go to Megan's, which is where we went for brunch a couple of weeks ago with Jade, Brad and Dan. So yeah, we're just gonna stop there and grab a takeaway and then carry on. <laughs> this place is... That's crazy. That sun is making everything super red and orangey that is honestly like genuinely i did a when i was in mumbai i did a sunset photo and the sun was like that really yeah still in the car i feel like we've been in the car for hours um but slowly making our way home the reason why we've got an orangey i always do this with my finger and then i'm like watch it back that. i know yeah, i watch worm. it back and i'm like get your finger out of the shot do you remember that there's a worm at the bottom of the garden his name is wiggly Woo. do you remember that no. <laughs> do you remember that from school <laughs> anyway you got that bit um, <laughs> 
the sky is orange and the sun is orange because Storm Ophelia has picked up dust from the Sahara, sand, well actually sand from the Sahara, and is blowing it around and that's why the sun is orange and it looks like a little bit like it's the end of the world today. That is why. Isn't that amazing? I've got all of my motorbike gear in that I bought today and Steve's just checking that the actual bike starts. <laughs> All right, here we go. Excuse the enduro helmet for this, but this is the only one with the GoPro attachment. So, this is Alexia's first go on the bike. We've got all the gear on. You look great. So we've got a Heat and Workshop helmet. We've got a Merlin jacket, Kevlar jeans with like D3 armor, Dr. Martins. She's ready to go. I'm there. So we're gonna go and surprise Alexia's mum and see if they're in, get a cup of tea. Huh? might freak out a little bit, she's not too happy with bikes. Alexa, what did you think? I loved it. My hands are a bit numb from, I like interlock my hands in front of Steve. And I think, also this is a great look to vlog in. <laughs> but I interlock my hands um, in front of Steve and I think I shouldn't have done that because I literally now have numb hands. But I'm gonna take this off. We just arrived at my mum's, but she's walking the dogs. <laughs> okay, we've had a quick tea pit stop. Said hello to Dicky G. Say hello, Dicky G. Hello, darling. Hello. Nice Thanks. And now we are back on the bikes. It's dark now, though, so we'll see how that goes. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready? Alright guys, we made it home. I'm going to take over the vlog because Alexia is editing her vlog that will be going out the day before this. Um, and I'm going to be cooking. Basically, we're going to go for a little Hello Fresh number we got going on. We've got Moroccan... No, no, that's not right. We're doing this one. Sorry, I got confused. We are doing the Orzo Risotto. So I've already prepped up these tomatoes. Got to get all this ready. This is a bit of cooking with Steve, but it also excuse the helmet head of hair. Okay, I think I'm winning. The tomatoes are nice and roasted. They've been roasted in the oven. And then we've got the cheese, mozzarella and parmesan grated. This is the actual mix here. So that is almost done. Just gotta add the final ingredients. So, cut to lovely finished dinner. Ready? For you. Oh, thank you. Hope it's good. Can I have a fork? <laughs> you nearly done with your video. I'll get your fork. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just putting the music and then I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. 